hi dear students this class we are going to introduce another idea that is inverse trigonometric functions see in this inverse trigonometric function the first one we are going to discuss about sin inverse x what is a sin inverse x sin inverse x is an angle sin inverse x is an angle whose sign whose sign is equal to x so sin inverse x is an angle next the inverse of a function exists when it is a bijection so here i am going to discuss about once again what is a bijection when can we say that a function is a bijection only for the bijective functions inverse exist so a function which is both one one function at the same time on two function that means a function which is injection and at the same time surjection is said to be a bijection so just i am going to discuss with few examples all of you observe here this is one set a let us say the elements are 1 2 3 4 and this is another set b with elements a comma b comma c now f is a function from a to b so here one connected with a two connected with b three connected with c four also connected with c now you can observe f is a function from a to b the reason is for every element there is an association that association also unique so that's why f is a function from a to b at the same time f is a one one function or not no it is not a one one function the reason is different elements are connected with c different elements are connected with c that is the reason it is not a one one function but now f is an on to function or not yes it is an on to function on to function means for every element there must be a pre image yes a has a pre image 1 b has a pre image 2 c has a pre image 3 4 yes every element in capital b has a pre image that is the reason it is an on to function so f is an on to function because it is not a one one function so i can say f is not a bijection because as i discussed a function which is both one one and on two is said to be a bijection so it is not a bijection now just i am checking here from b to a so what is the set b the set b consists of the elements a b c and the set a consists of the elements 1 2 3 4 4 you can observe here according to the dis discussion earlier a connected with 1 just observe here i am discussing a function from b to a so a connected with 1 next b connected with 2 right c connected with 3 the same c is also connected with 4 so now b to a is not a function b to a is not a function the reason is the first condition every element has an association satisfying but 
uniqueness condition is not satisfying c is not uniquely connected c is not uniquely associated c is associated with three the same c is associated with four also that is the reason it is not a function from b to a let us see another example here a and this is another set b here the elements are 1 2 3 4 4 and here we have the elements a b c d and e now one connected with a two connected with b three connected with c and four connected with e now here you can observe no doubt f is a function from a to b the reason is every element has an association that association is unique next f is a one one function agree or not you can check different elements have different associations so it is a one one function next f is on to function or not no f is not an on to function the reason is for the element d there is no correspondence here for the element d there is no pre image that is the reason it is not an on to function now that means i can say f is not a bijection f is not a bijection right so now again i am discussing function from b to a so this is the set b and this is the set a in the set b we have the elements a b c d e in the set a we have the elements 1 2 3 4 now you can observe a connected with 1 next b connected with 2 observe the above one c connected with 3 next d has no connection e connected with 4 it is not a function from b to a why it is not a function from b to a according to the definition of a function for every element there must be a correspondence for every element there must be an association here an element d is there there is no association for this d that is the reason it is not a function from b to a okay another example we are discussing here a and here another set we have with elements 1 2 3 4 and here the set with elements a b c d now one connected with a two connected with b three connected with c four connected with d no doubt f is a function from a to b yes f is a function from a to b what about f is a one one function or not yes f is a one one function now f is an on to function or not yes because for every element there is a pre image s yes, it is an on to function or a function is one one function it is an on to function so i can say f is a bijection it is a bijection right now i am discussing about from b to a so this is b sorry this is b with elements a b c d and this is a with elements 1 2 3 4 right now we are discussing it is a function from b to a or not you can check a connected with 1 b connected with 2 c connected with 3 d connected with 4 right so a is associated with 1 b is associated with 2 c is associated with 3 d associated with 4 now you can observe very clearly here there is function from b to a definitely it is a function from b to a that function is called inverse function that means f inverse is a function from b to a that means whenever f is a bijection inverse of f exists that means 
देर इज ए फंक्शन पॉजिबल फ्रॉम बी टू ए एफ इज ए बैजेक्शन देन ओनली इनवर्स ऑफ ए फंक्शन पॉजिबल फ्रॉम बी टू ए दट इज द डिस्कशन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस इज द ग्राफ ऑफ साइन एक्स डोमाइन इज ऑल रियल नंबर्स रेंज द ग्राफ ऑफ साइन एक्स लाइस बिटवीन माइनस वन एंड प्लस वन राइट सो फ्रॉम माइनस इनफिनिटी टू प्लस इनफिनिटी द ग्राफ इज दे बट रेंज इज बिटवीन माइनस वन एंड प्लस वन ओनली सो साइन एक्स वी कैन डिफाइन ए फंक्शन फ्रॉम रियल नंबर्स टू माइनस वन कामा वन साइन एक्स इज ए फंक्शन फ्रॉम रियल नंबर्स टू माइनस वन कामा वन यू यू ड्रा ए हारिजेंटल लाइन दट हारिजेंटल लाइन कट्स द ग्राफ एट मोर देन वन पॉइंट दैट्स वाई विथ द हेल्प ऑफ हारिजेंटल टेस्ट वी कैन से इट इज नॉट ए वन वन फंक्शन द रीजन इज यू सी एट पाई बाई टू वी आर गेटिंग वन एस एट पाई बाई टू वी आर गेटिंग वन एट माइनस थ्री पाई बाई टू आल्सो वी आर गेटिंग वन दीज आर नो डाउट डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स कनेक्टेड विथ वन सो इट इज नॉट ए वन वन फंक्शन सो इट इज नॉट ए बाइजेक्शन सो इनवर्स डज नॉट एग दट स्पॉट वी डिस्कस हियर हारिजेंटल लाइन टेस्ट वी आर ड्राइंग ए हारिजेंटल लाइन कट्स द ग्राफ एट मोर दैन वन पॉइंट दैट इज द रीजन इट इज नॉट ए वन वन फंक्शन राइट एट द सेम टाइम यू कैन चेक हियर रेंज ऑफ द फंक्शन इज बिटवीन माइनस वन टू वन सो इफ यू आर डिस्कसिंग द फंक्शन फ्रॉम here you can observe this is minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 it is taking all the values between minus 1 and plus 1 again you can observe between pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 again you can observe between pi by 2 to 3 by 2 it is taking all the values between minus 1 and plus 1 right so if you are restricting your domain between minus 3 pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 or minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 or pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 right so the function is taking all the values between minus 1 and plus 1 the function is taking all the values between minus 1 and plus 1 just you can observe the graph here between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 we got the graph like this it is minus 1 here and it is a plus 1 here right so it is taking between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 it is taking all the values between minus 1 and plus 1 so that's why if the function we are defined from if the function is defined from closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 it becomes a one one function at the same time on two function also you can check with horizontal line test horizontal line cuts the graph at only one point so it is a one one function on two function so we can say it is a bijection whenever it is a bijection we can say invertible right so this is the information we got if f is a function from x to y which is a bijection so it is invertible hence there exists a function from y to x which is the inverse of the function f that is denoted by sin inverse x so that's why sin inverse x is defined from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 to minus 1 to 1 that means here we are defining sin x is a function from Minus pi by two to pi by two to closed interval minus one comma one. In this interval, this function is a one one function. At the same time, on two function also, we are taking this one as the principal branch. So because we are getting between pi by two to three pi by two also, we are getting between minus three pi by two to Minus pi by two also it is a one one function, but we are taking this one as the principal branch for sine inverse x. Then the inverse of this function is denoted by sine inverse x, sine inverse x, which is a function from minus one to one to 
minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 that is the definition of inverse of sin x see this is the graph of sin x right so this is the graph of sin x between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 this is the graph for sin inverse x here it is at pi by 2 and here it is at minus pi by 2 here you will get the value as minus 1 and here you will get the value as 1 you can observe the graph of sin x here and sin inverse x both in the same graph any graph if you know the graph of one function this is the graph of one function now you draw the line y is equal to x this is the line y is equal to x to this line y is equal to x once again if you know the graph of any function draw the line y is equal to x this is the line y is equal to x the graph of f of x is the mirror image of f inverse of x with respect to the line y is equal to x you can observe here this is the line is equal to x with respect to the line y is equal to x the graph of sin x this is the graph of sin x and this is the graph of sin inverse x one is the mirror image of other with respect to the line y is equal to x so we got the conclusion here sin x is a function from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 to minus 1 comma 1 this is the domain and this is the codomain this is nothing but the range because whenever the function is an onto function codomain must be equal to range so if the function is defined from a to b this is a this is b is a bijection then there exists a function inverse of x from b to a that is denoted by sin inverse x or the same we can also write it as arc sin x sin inverse x another name is arc sin x so that is the principal branch for sin inverse x is closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 sin x is a function from a to b sin inverse x is a function from b to a similarly we are going to discuss for cos x and cos inverse x tan x and tan inverse x cosecant x and cosecant inverse x for other inverse trigonometry you can observe here cos x this is the graph of cos x domain is all real numbers range is between minus 1 to 1 clearly according to the horizontal horizontal line test it is not a 1 1 function we are drawing a horizontal line horizontal line cuts the graph at more than one point so it is not a 1 1 function so this is the horizontal test shown but if you are restricting our domain from minus pi to 0 you can observe minus pi to 0 with blue lines at the same time if you restrict our domain from 0 to 5 you can observe 0 to 5 with blue lines or pi to 2 pi you can observe with yellow lines here so pi to 2 pi it is a 1 1 function it is a non 2 function 0 to pi also it is a 1 1 function and it is a non 2 function next and between minus pi to 0 also it is a 1 1 function and on 2 function so if we restrict our domain from 0 to pi 0 to pi this we will call it as a principal branch here if f is a function from f is a function from 0 to pi to closed interval minus 1 comma 1 if you restrict our domain and a codomain like this then the function becomes a 1 1 function when it is a 1 1 function and it is a non 2 function inverse exists so that's why we got the graph of cos x here between 0 to pi between 0 to pi you can observe this is the graph that's what there also i am showing this is the graph of cos x and for the cos inverse x graph this is the graph of cos inverse x you can observe here also the graph of cos x and cos inverse x one is the mirror image of other with respect to the line y is equal to so this is the conclusion we got here cos x is a function from 0 to pi to minus 1 comma 1 it is a bijection so its inverse is a function from cos inverse x from minus 1 to 1 to 0 to pi this is the range and this is the codomain for the inverse of a function right
so this one we are calling it as the principal branch for the cos inverse x that's what we told either cos inverse x or sin inverse x or tan inverse x this is an angle is an angle right cos inverse x or sin inverse x or tan inverse x is an angle whose cosine is x whose cosine is an x that is the discussion we did one more important point as i discussed earlier also cos inverse x we can write it as arc of cos x at the same time you can't write cos inverse x it is not the meaning of cos x whole to the power of minus 1 so cos inverse x we can't write this one as 1 by cos x 1 by cos x means secant x so we can't write cos inverse x as cos x whole to the power of minus 1 or that we can't write this one as 1 by cos x so you can check this is the graph of cosecant x right so cosecant x is not defined at all multiples of pi because you know cosecant x is nothing but 1 by sin x so that's why cosecant x is not defined at all multiples of pi so that is the reason domain is equals to all real numbers excluding the multiples of pi at the same time you can observe the graph also the graph you won't get between the lines minus 1 and plus 1 the graph you are not getting between the lines minus 1 and plus 1 the graph is strictly above the line y is equal to minus 1 sorry below the line y is equal to minus 1 and above the line y is equal to 1 so you won't get any values between minus 1 and plus 1 that's why range is equal to from minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity that is the range for the function cosecant x right so it is not a 1 1 function not a non 2 function but if we are restricting our domain between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding 0 because you see at 0 it is not defined at the same time if you restrict our domain from minus 3 pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 we have to exclude minus pi you can see at minus pi it is not defined so right at the same time between pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 we have to exclude pi you have to exclude pi so if you restrict our domain either this or this or this the function becomes both 1 1 and on 2 among these we will consider between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding 0 is called the principal branch in that principal branch we are drawing the graph of cosecant x you can observe the same here the graph of cosecant inverse x is the mirror image of cosecant x with respect to the line y is equal to x right so this is the graph of cosecant x and cosecant inverse x who is the principal branch we are getting from it is the function defined from minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity to closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 exclude 0 you have to exclude 0 from this interval so that is inverse of cosecant x that is nothing but cosecant inverse x domain and this particular one is called principal value branch for the range this is also principal it is not a principal this is the principal value branch in this interval also it is on two function one one function also it is one one function on two function but we are considering this one as the principal value so based on the above discussion we got this details sin inverse x domain is closed interval minus 1 comma sin inverse x domain we got closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and this is the principal value branch for range similarly cos inverse x domain we got closed interval minus 1 comma 1 range is equal to closed interval 0 to pi cosecant inverse x domain we got from real numbers we have to exclude this one that is nothing but from minus infinity to minus 1 union 
1 to infinity both are same whereas the range is equals to you can observe same as sin x but we have to exclude 0 this is the range for cosecant inverse x similarly secant inverse x domain is this one and range is equal to closed interval 0 to pi we have to exclude pi by 2 tan inverse x also the same domain is all real numbers whereas range is equals to open interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 similarly for cot inverse x domain is all real numbers range is open interval 0 to pi the entire inverse trigonometric function is based on this principal value branches this branch this particular table all these principal value branches you have to remember based on this ideas only we are going to do the problems in inverse trigonometric function